We have a new expert contributor today. We're going to talk with Mary Jo Spurgeon from Home Warranty of America about homeowner protection plans. And let me tell you that um, in all of the transactions that Gerard Realty Group does, which is quite a few, as you know, we always recommend to our sellers that they include a home protection plan in their listing. And for a couple of reasons, we'll get to in a minute. And we always recommend to our buyers that they include a home protection plan in the contract when they make an offer to buy a house. So with that, let's talk with Mary Jo. Mary Jo Spurgeon from Home Warranty America. How are you today? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Well, it is a pleasure to have you here. I've You and I have been uh, working together, helping people uh, protect their appliances and their systems and their homes for, I think, about four years now. Is that right? That's right. That's crazy. Four Time years? flies when we're having fun. It does. And we do have a lot of fun. So um, home protection plans, a very important piece of the transaction, really just something that uh, I, we just strongly recommend buyers and sellers get involved with. But I think there are a lot of people out there who really don't have um, a firm grasp on what a home protection plan is. So I want to talk about uh, just how to define that, how people should be thinking about that, and then go into some more specifics about what they actually do and uh, kind of do some myth busting about some home protection plans. So just for the for our listeners, give them one minute. What is a home protection plan? Sure. A home protection plan is designed basically to be your best defense against the unexpected. Okay. So when you have an appliance or a system that fails due to normal wear and tear, then the home warranty company is going to come in and they're either going to repair or replace those appliances that have had something go wrong. Right. So it's it's a defensive, it's an insurance policy. But it goes beyond just appliances, does it not? I mean, there's more to it than just, you know, your washer or your uh, washing, uh, your your dishwasher and your stove. It goes beyond that, right? Absolutely. I have a fun little acronym that I use. Well, we love acronyms in radio. We do. PEACH. So PEACH is going to stand for plumbing, electric, appliance, cooling, and heating. Did you make up PEACH all by yourself or was that something that Home Warranty of America told you that you should tell people about? So I've been with HWA a little over five years now, and that was something I came up with. Did you? Seriously, yes. did you make a peach all by... Now, have, have you... Are they using it at the corporate headquarters? Absolutely. That's very cool. I hope they're paying you. I hope... They, I, I need hope royalties. They, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I hope they, at, at the very minimum, you know, you should get like, you know, triple commissions when somebody uses that in a different market and actually sell some policies, right? I agree. So the uh, the peach plans, let's, we're going to call them peach plans from now on. I love it. Uh, plumbing, electrical, appliances. Cooling and cooling heating. And heating. Uh, what do they do? What do they protect people from? Well, like I said before, they're protecting you with the normal wear and tear. Right. On appliances, like hot water heater, your AC system. So... You know, when you move into a house or even an existing homeowner, what happens is you don't know how long those systems have been right. in place, how they've been used, all of those things. And, and it's very unlikely that they have any sort of warranty, manufacturer's warranty Correct. left on them. So a warranty is put into place so that you have protection and that we will either repair or replace that item if it goes bad within that 13 months. Gotcha. And so... um it just gives you a peace of mind because you don't know what you have until you're there. And, and we, what we find is that if, you're, um, if your air conditioner is going to go out, it's going to go out the day after you close, which would be July 5th, right? So it's going to be the hottest day of the year. And when it's 102. 102 degrees, and that's when it's going to – it's not going to go out the, the week before you close on the house, right? So um, – Let's talk for a minute about just some of the myth-busting things because there is a lot of misinformation or just lack of knowledge about what they cover. So there are a number of things that people need to be concerned about, like the age restriction. Is there a, is there a restriction on the age of the appliance that you guys will cover? So that is fiction. Fact is that we do not have any type of age restrictions we do not prorate based on age. So we see a lot of uh, furnaces, for instance, 
and um, in St. Louis County, a furnace might be 25, 30 years old, and frequently a building inspector will say this uh, appliance is at the end of its life, but sometimes those things last forever. And the point of from a home protection plan, it doesn't matter to HW how old that policy, that uh, appliance is when you're putting the policy in place. Correct. It just matters that it's working and it's in proper working order. And right. a building inspection is the due diligence showing that it has been tested. And and of course, every transaction that I am aware of has a building inspection. And the building ex- inspection is what's going to uh, provide information about any sort of pre-existing conditions. So if you know that the dishwasher doesn't work because your building inspector told you so, are you guys going to cover that? So with that, that's called pre-existing conditions. Right. And that's something that you would negotiate within your time that you have for the seller to take care of. A home warranty will cover unknown pre-existing conditions for the Un- buyer. Okay, so so but, if it's not discovered in the inspection, right. even if there was an issue that existed, if the inspector misses it or if it wasn't even part of the inspection, you're still going to get coverage from HWA. Correct. Gotcha. Okay, that's cool. But But if we know that there's a problem, that's not going to be covered. It's right. not. And, that's something and, you know about. And that's something that for buyers and for sellers, we're going to negotiate uh, so that we still get the best transaction for our clients. Um, one thing that I think a lot of people just don't understand how it works is that the home protection plan from Home Warranty of America and in others, I suppose, but we don't, we're not going to talk about them today, but uh, is that it's not just for that first year of ownership, right? I mean, you can renew these things for another year or two. How, how does that work? Right. I absolutely have clients that call me on a yearly basis and they renew every year. And, you know, you hear a lot of really great stories about you replaced my refrigerator right. or my hot water heater went out and you replaced the hot water heater. So you hear really great stories. And so tell us, a, tell us a great story. I mean, did, did, can you think of a great story from the last year where you had somebody that actually said this went bad and you guys saved my life on it? You know, the water was flooding over the floors or something like that. <laughs> Give well, us a story. You know, I mean, stories are always fun. Um, probably one most recently would be with the refrigerator. So, yeah. you know, a refrigerator goes out and it's, you know, people are coming over. It's right. It's the dinner holiday party are about and, to show up, right? Yeah. And a holiday. And, you know, it's a home warranty is designed so that you call in uh, we send out a vendor, right. and we get that taken care of. And we tell people it's important to call the number before you call the repairman because you guys need to know if there's someone on a special list or repairman or something like that, right? Correct. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. So I would think that uh, people who have had claims are more likely to renew because they really do see the value of that. Um do you have any idea just off the top of your head what the renewal rate is for, you know, if we, if we you know, have 100 policies go out this year, how many of those people actually renew for a second or third year? Do you know? I'd like to say all of them. I don't have a That'd specific. Awesome. Yeah, that would be awesome. I don't have a specific number. I will tell you that the um, statistics are exactly what you said. When they've had an issue and... Um, you know, we've we've come to right. their aid and replaced right. a refrigerator or a microwave or a dishwasher. You see that renewal rate right. and percentage be much higher than if they've never used it because they didn't see the value exactly. in it. Exactly. And it was typically done with the purchase of their home. So, so Mary Jo, we are about out of time. I really do appreciate you coming. I just want to make out, I, I want to point out to our listeners that if you are thinking about buying or selling your house, even if you are currently engaged in a transaction, unfortunately, with a different real estate company, because if you were with us, we'd already have this conversation at Gerard Realty Group. But if you are engaged in a transaction, you're going to buy or sell a property and you don't have a home protection plan in, how would they get a hold of you, Mary Jo, to put that in? Because anybody is, is it can do it at any time, right? So how would someone reach out and get more information about what they can do for their house? Absolutely. You can give me a call. My number is 314-562-5099, and that will reach me directly. And if I remember also, you guys have an awesome website. So just real quickly, I think people can get great information from your website. What's that URL? Absolutely. It's hwahomewarranty.com.